Man, my Android's really sucking nowadays. All my friends say I should root it, but I don't know. What? Why should I root my Android phone? Here are 25 reasons why you should root your Android device. That's sick and all, but how do I root my Android device? Okay, don't be a baby and just Google it. Okay? okay. That's how you okay. do it. Alright, okay. So reason number 25 why you should root your Android device is because of custom ROMs. Now up until recently ROMs were like storage chips consisting of like read only memories. Ever played Game Boy games? They were ROMs. Sometimes they were like separate area in the cartridge where you would save the games to, but the game itself was read only. You couldn't modify it. On Android it's referred as firmware, where you can easily replace your stock ROM if you choose to. In other words, if you don't know what the fuck I just said, basically when you first turn on your phone, right out of the box, the software on it is called your stock ROM. You should choose to have a different ROMs on it if you ever root your device. Now, you guys should root because the 24th reason is user profile switching. Now what that means, you can switch between different accounts on your device and with users that don't have root, they have no obvious way and built way to switch between different accounts on your device or profiles. So uh, Android is a multi-user operating system. With Switch Me, you can log in and out of multiple user accounts just as you would on a desktop computer with each account having its own system settings, apps, and uh, data. You can switch between ROMs and uh, just by the click of a reboot button, you can automatically log in and out and you won't lose anything just by switching accounts. Reason number 23 is because you can change your system font to any font you want using Font Installer. Here you are, you have all of these different options. You can choose one and automatically install them and preview them when you reboot. Reason number 22 is you can remove the status bar on any Honeycomb tablet on always present status bar at the bottom of the screen. With the Honeycomb bar, you can remove the entire status bar at the bottom of the screen, but you can remove it at the bottom um, so that way you can have more space on the screen and get rid of it whenever you want. You can also have on the fly encryption. You can have Luke's manager on your device. It's an app in the Play Store for free. It provides on the fly encryption. AES by default to virtual folders on Android devices. So it, it lets you encrypt devices. All you have to do is create it and you select directory and then you choose it from there. And number 20 is pretty basic, you can silently uninstall apps. By doing this, you can install this app called Root Uninstall. What that does, it basically lets you select all of your apps, the ones that you want to install all at once, and then you can uninstall the apps at a click of a button, which is pretty cool. If it doesn't work, then just click uninstall regular, and you can uninstall them just by directing it to you through the uninstall package, and you can automatically do that from there. Root needed. The 19th reason why you guys should root is because you can take screenshots even if your device isn't supported. For some reason Google didn't write the native screenshot ability for into Android until ICS came out so all of you guys that didn't have ICS and had gingerbread and below, well you didn't get screenshot automatically on your device. But with screencast or shoot me or pick me, you can get this on your device and you do need root but it does work and it is supported for your Android device. So root is needed. You can also record your phone screen in full HD resolution using Screencast. You can record your home screen, apps, games, all in action with a high frame rate in an HD quality video. Which is really great, it's just easy. All you have to do is click a button, record, and start moving the screen around. And you can actually speak into the mic and you can record your voice. And you can hear your voice in the background. And you can share it, you can trash it, or you can play it using mobile player. And number 17, we have restricting data use on your Android device. With Droid Wall, you can restrict apps that can access the network on your Android device, and it shows you any app that is using your wireless data to see if you will have any unwanted data use happening in the background. So manually select the ones that you don't want to be using in the background. So that is restricting data use on your Android device. Reason number 16 as to why you should root is because you can dual mount your SD card to your computer. So that means you can mount your SD card to both the phone and a PC at the same time using dual mount SD, which requires root access. 
as you can see I can open up all my files on my laptop and also on my phone and I can still play all of my music while it's still being able to be on my laptop. At the same time, I can also view all my pictures while being on my phone. I can view my pictures from my phone and my laptop, still connecting my SD card to the computer and my SD card being completely on my phone at the same time. Reason number 15 as to why you should root is because you can recover deleted files you accidentally deleted from an app called Undelete. You re can recover all the deleted files that you lost, including pictures, images, and uh, music, and video which is really great. If you get the full version for Undelete, you can recover music and videos. Uh, the free version only lets you recover pictures, but hey, it still lets you restore it. Reason number 14 as to why you should root is because you can manage what keyboard should appear based on your phone orientation using Keyboard Manager. So it lets you choose one keyboard for portrait view and another for landscape view. So that's what I did, and I used SwiftKey for portrait, and I used the regular old Android keyboard for landscape view. Reason number 13 as to why you can read your Android device is because you can block calls and messages so they never go through your phone. Root Call Blocker blocks all calls and messages hidden and your phone never rings. You can block area codes and countries. You can reject unknown, withheld, and private numbers, which is really cool, all by rejecting it. And you can also reject messages by blocking and saving it. You can also recover Wi-Fi passwords from the past use. You have Wi-Fi key recovery which will help you recover the password of a wireless network you have connected to in the past. It lists all the Wi-Fi passwords you have stored on your phone. You can also copy the password, have a QR code, and then copy all of them and paste them. You can also speed up the boot process on your Android device. With Rescan Media Root, you can prevent Android from running the media scanner at boot, thus speeding up the boot process and letting you use your phone up to 30 seconds quicker. Then when you access your music and files, it will perform the scan at that time. Alternatively, you can use you can also use an on-demand scan at your own pace. And it boots up really, really fast. At number 10, you can calibrate your battery. If you think your battery levels aren't accurate enough, for example, it says you have battery left on your phone, but it still goes dead. You can use battery calibrator to reset the battery stats. It doesn't help extend the battery life at all, it just deletes the battery stats so it can start fresh and you can get an accurate reading. You can also make your screen better resolution, but LCD density for a root, it lets you change the LCD settings on your Android device. It's like adjusting your PC monitor resolution. You can make everything on your screen appear bigger if you really have bad eyes, or smaller if you want to display more. The smaller the number, the larger the resolution, and the smaller the items are going to look on the screen. As you can see in the pictures, that's what it looks like, there's a difference, and so on and so forth. So there you go. For rooted users, you can also have an app that's called Quick Boot, which provides like shortcuts to reboot, recovery, and then you can boot into recovery, and then you can boot into bootloader, you can power off your phone, and you can reboot it, all at the same time just by the click of a button. Now this reason is very simple and can save you a lot of time. Basically, if you root your device, you can also have the chance of clearing all your cache quickly using CacheMate, which clears all your cache at a click of a button. That's how easy it is. And reason number seven is very simple. You can speed up your external and internal storage. Basically, SD Booster speeds up your SD card up to 40 times faster. Starting up apps, listing your favorite music, or just swapping data with your PC is very fast. And SD cards improves your phone speed at a great amount of time. Just plug in the cache size to at least 1024 and you're... So, reason number five is pretty basic. Upgrade your device at your own time. That's what the benefits of the number five root is. Uh, pretty much, my Android device, it had gingerbread for a very long time. ICS didn't come out for at least a whole nother five or six months. But if you rooted your Android device, I rooted it, and I got ICS right away. I actually am getting Jelly Bean once they have a custom ROM out for that. And once they do have a ROM for that, you can upgrade and you can root your Android device, and you can get the latest update that's out there. Like Jelly Bean right now, you can get that. So that's why I like uh, rooting my device for the benefits of update. Number four, the big one, is because you can remove bloatware or crapware. 
So Glowware infects the vast majority of Android phones. You'll recognize Samsung, HTC, and Motorola using the custom UIs and feature packages that those makers throw on top of stock Androids. While some of that Glowware is actually useful, most of it offers nothing that you can use or couldn't arrange on your own with other apps. And it can blog up or bog up down performance or even block features from your device. Worst yet is that much of the time bloatware apps are blocked from uninstalling unless of course you root your Android device. With no bloat you can remove all the bloatware just by the click of a button and then click uninstall. Number three is you can speed up your Android device by overclocking it and undervolting it. When you root your Android device you gain some control over the hardware components making overclocking and undervolting possible. It's not common to overclock a 1 GHz Android CPU up to like 1.6 GHz. Of course with the later tendency of toward instability, several root only apps available in the Android market handle both overclocking and undervolting set, such as set CPU and voltage control. Second to last we have you can back up all your apps, games, messages, call logs, system apps, and all of the following on your Android device just by using titanium backup or any other root app that's out there that can back up all your crap. But this is the most popular one. Titanium backup is really great and it can back up all your data, even the blowware apps all in the background. It's very easy to use and you can do batch backups, restore backups, delete, freeze apps, and uninstall apps. So that's really great about the benefits of rooting your device. And the number one reason as to why you guys should root is pretty basic. It's because you can. I know that sounds a little cheesy, but it's true. Look at it this way. Google made Android an open source, which means thousands of developers are creating apps and games and ROMs for you to enjoy and use your phone at the fullest of its ability. You bought an Android phone, which means one, you either don't know shit about Android devices and you just saw something on the contract and you just got something that looked cool, or two, you're somehow attracted to the flexibility and customization of Android device that no other operating system can do. So here you are, live a little, void your warranty, root your Android. It's not that hard, it's pretty easy, just Google it. It's kind of fun. You'll discover the value of what was right in front of you all along. So I want to hear what you guys think. Leave it in the comment section below. If you miss anything, leave it in the comment section below. I'll try to reply to it. And uh, if you have any questions, then I'll, I'll answer it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Kapow! See ya.